Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the goby fly. This is a bait fish streamer. I don't know the history of the fly, but it presents a great teardrop shaped bait fish pattern. And I've chosen to tie it in olive colors to tempt the smallmouth bass in my home waters. Tie it in colors to match the bait fish in your area. And I would suggest sizes one through six. So here's the fly in the vise. The hook we're going to need to use today is a Gamagatsu B10S size four. It's their stinger hook. It's got a nice wide gap to it. And to help get the fly down a little bit quicker, we're going to put in about a dozen wraps of 20 thousandths lead wire. Wrap this up to a couple of hook eye lengths behind the hook eye. And our thread today is some UTC 70 denier in the color olive. And we'll start our jam knot just behind the guy and form a thread dam in front of that lead to keep it from creeping forward. And then we're going to wrap back over the lead and form a thread dam behind it. That'll keep it in place. And a few more securing wraps. I'm going to wrap back to the start of the bend of the hook where we're going to tie in our first material. It's going to be some hairline fine black barred marabou in the color olive. And this is going to be to support our tail feathers to keep them from wrapping around the hook. So we want these to be about a hook shank in length. Actually, we can cut a lot of that off and get it out of our way. And we'll tie this on on top of the hook. Looks good. And get rid of our excess material. The tail for our fly is going to be uh, Keo's Tires Grade Cape Grizzly Dyed Olive. And I've pulled a couple of feathers out from here along the edges. Don't get used for much else. And we'll tie these in on top of the hook shank. And we want them to be about Oh, maybe two hook shanks in length, and we're going to tie those in right on top. And the body of this fly is going to be made up from Senyo's laser dubbing. Uh, there, this is their yarn dispenser, and the color we've chosen is olive. And we're going to tie in probably four clumps. You can see that it's pretty long stuff, longer than we need for this fly. So I'm going to cut that in half, lay it back over itself, and kind of mend it all in together. So we're going to lay this on top and take two loose wraps pull it tight and that will pull the material around the hook shank and then pull the material back form a thread dam in front of it to force it to lay back over the shank come forward a, an eye length or so and we'll do it again top, two loose wraps, pull it tight, pull your material back, form another thread down, dump it forward, and repeat. Two loose wraps, tight, One more. There we go. 
Last material we're going to tie in is going to be our collar. And for that, we're again going to use this fine black marabou. And I've put it in a clip here. And we're going to form a dubbing loop. And get that in the loop like so. And we'll start wrapping that once we get to where the marabou is at. We'll probably make about three turns. I'd say that's probably enough. Cut off our dubbing loop. Sweep it all back. And we'll warm ahead in the process we're forcing that marabou back over the body of the fly. Get our whip finish tool, do a four or five turn whip finish. See it or not. Cut our thread. Get rid of those two small pieces right there. And take a brush and Kind of even this out. Once this gets wet, it has a really nice teardrop shape. Marabou gives it a lot of movement. And a little head cement to finish off the fly. And their fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.